Hey guys, I'm Austin, and welcome back to Bombchu News, where I cover the news I found interesting today. For a long time, World of Warcraft users have been able to buy in-game time with in-game gold, rather than paying real money. This is done by purchasing tokens from other players who have paid real money for that time. Well, it appears tokens will no longer only be used for in-game time on World of Warcraft. Tokens can now be converted to $15 in Battle.net money, which can be used in Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch, Tokens are currently selling for around 60,000 gold on World of Warcraft, so it's up to you to decide if that's really worth it or not. If you play a lot of WoW, and you're already using gold to pay for your monthly fee, and you still have a big surplus of gold, I could see this being useful. Speaking of Blizzard, Terry Crews is at it again, trying to get the part of Doomfist in Overwatch. This time in a video for Yahoo Esports, Crews does a mock audition, and it sounds pretty damn good. Cruz really seems to want this part. The fans seem to really want it. He's even been endorsed by The Rock, so here's hoping Blizzard is taking him seriously. Finally, we have big details on Rock Band VR. It's coming to the Oculus Rift on March 23rd. A new trailer has come out as well, showing off the gameplay. It looks like this is going to be geared more towards freestyle rather than trying to hit specific notes at specific times. I'm not totally sure how I feel about that. It looks like it's compatible with a guitar either from PS4 or Xbox One, and it also requires that you have the Oculus hand controllers. What do you think of this new approach to Rock Band? Personally, if they had put a more pure experience in, I think this would be my reason to get the Oculus hand controllers. For now, I'm gonna wait and see. Well guys, that's all the news I found interesting today. I'll see you tomorrow.